I found the campground. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm a little bit unsure about parking and I'm not sure which one is my site, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Hmm. I don't see numbers. I know I'm number four. I don't know where that is. <laughs> this really is waterfront. There's a lot of mosquitoes. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I almost wore flip-flops, so <laughs> thank goodness I did not. It's a lot calmer than I thought it was going to be. That was really fun. I hope I'm not trampling through someone else's campsite. But where are the numbers? I found number four. There's some rather noisy gentleman <laughs> right next to me. Um, so I'm hoping that's not going to be a problem. And some of the sites, you can actually see the water from the site and mine is more, it's more downhill. You can't actually necessarily see anything from the tent pad right here. Um, you have to kind of go down the path. Now that I have found my campsite, I just have to get all of my gear and walk it all the way down. <laughs> it's quite a walk from the side of the road where I parked over to the campground. There's no um, drive up camping spot. So this could take a while. It got dark very quickly, <laughs> not much warning. I normally wouldn't start a fire in the summer because it is just too hot, even at night, but I made some homemade fire starters and I've tested them in my backyard. I have not tested them at a campsite before. So I'm going to give these a try just for a little bit of light. I have my lantern set up otherwise it'd be pretty much pitch black. I melted a vanilla candle <laughs> to make these. They smell really good. Someone was nice enough to leave me a bunch of firewood.
Okay, that lit pretty easy. I normally struggle to get a fire lit. Thankfully, this wood is already burnt and that makes it super easy. All right, fire, do your thing. My fire is doing so well. I'm going to try something I have never tried before, and that is sleep on a cot out in the open without a tent. <laughs> that was just an accidental thing that happened tonight. I did bring my giant dome tent, but because I had to walk back and forth from the car, the hammock was a lot lighter. Oh! I'm being swarmed by bugs from the light. Um, this light. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's millions. Um, <laughs> okay, back to dinner. I meant to stop at the grocery store on the way, and I took a route that didn't really take me across any grocery store paths, so um, I had grabbed a ton of snacks from my kitchen this morning before I left. And because I didn't have a chance to get anything else, I'm having a pile of snacks for dinner, which I'm about to eat, so. <laughs> I have such random things. Pears, powdered milk, beans, seaweed, I got it all. Okay, I'm gonna eat and sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I slept just like this, right out in the open. It was really nice. Everything got covered in like a misty dew and I kept waking up and my pillow <laughs> was a little bit wet. My sleeping bag was just a little bit wet. Um, there's not much left of my fire. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the set to be so fluffy. <laughs> it's about 6.30. I've been awake for over an hour just listening to the birds. I want one last view of the Potomac River before I toss everything into my car and head back because I am really ready for breakfast. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. That was so gross. I've stuck my face into so many spider webs on this trip. And there is no longer a place to walk because the water's really high. to go.